Well, hello everybody. My name is Ghost for Tape Face, and welcome to episode two of the Pinecraft series. Today, oh, we've got a few things to do, and yippee, it's gonna be fun. But between episodes, I went on a little bit, a little bit of a resource gathering, and I would like to show you guys what I got. So I got a few shulker boxes of grass, as you see. I found um, some terracotta, and I did this without a beacon, so this took me a while to get that terracotta. Here's some more grass. We got a shulker of dirt, not all the way, but almost. And then these are all the logs that we have been gathering, because as I said, I want to put a business together that sells logs. And right, we're just going to start with oat logs. I don't think I'm going to sell my oak logs yet. The first two things I want to sell is I want to just test it out by selling grass and dirt. And I'm just going to go take a shulker over of each and sell it. So this is all the stuff. So I'm just going to take a box of this and this box right here over there. All of these are going to stay here. Not sure. One of these is wood. The wood's going to go. The wood's going to stay right here. I'll put that together. So I'm going to put all this stuff back. And then we're going to head over to the shopping district. And I'm going to show you where I'm going to build my shop. Here we are, guys, at our future shop site. So for this season of Pinecraft, the shopping district is in a giant cavern that goes way down there, way up here. So we're going to be harnessing a lot of our vertical space. So my shop is going to be off the beaten path. That's where most of the shops are, are way over there. But the shopping district, I'm expecting it that it's going to continually just keep growing this way as more and more shops, shops come in. And I've already taken out this little area right here. I've kind of flattened it out just a little bit, and I'm just kind of preparing it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to terraform all of this underside right here to connect all the way up there. And I'm going to have it come up and then break back out, give me another a little bit more room up there. And then my shop is going to be right here. It's going to be made out of lighter uh, oak wood. Since it's a lighter wood, I want things to pop. We want a lot of color. We want a lot of change because everything in here, you know, it's stone and it's deep slate and it's really dark. And you see all these squares marked out here. I believe that these are other future shops. So that's why I'm just building up here because all of these squares, like if these keep moving and if people keep putting shops here and here and all over the place down here, then you'll have to fly by my shop to get over there. And yeah, so without further ado, let's just let's jump straight into a time lapse and let's build the shop. So this is the shop that we have just built. This is everything behind me. So this is what it is. So of course I added a little bit of detail on. And I don't really have the leaves that I really want yet to add all the detail. So I kind of just have these few that I've placed here and there. I don't really have any flowers I can put in. There's a lot of stuff that I don't have that I can't decorate with. But overall I'm pretty happy how it looks. I um, uh, realized that I wanted the roof to kind of go into the rock. So, what we have... Here, let me get on the roof. It's a little difficult to fly in this cave. Alright, here we go. So, we've got the roof. It kind of just blends straight into the rock up here on all sides. It just goes... I um, changed this up a little, brought it out a little, and just made it to where the roof just goes straight into it. The roof... I used stone brick and stone just because I wanted to actually, I wanted it to kind of really fade into the rock. So I wanted to use similar, similar, similar blocks. And then down here, it really pops right here because we've got all the woods and it's a big contrast. The greens and the woods and the blue, it's a big contrast from all the darker colors around here. And it's also very well lit up. So I have some ideas to make it a little bit better. I want to take all of these torches down and put um, glow like in there so that mobs don't spawn but it's gonna be lower in the light level then also here's something else the water i added in at the end 
And I decided to, I want to put a, a channel that's going to just take this water over in that direction and just dump it somewhere over there. Where, I don't know, it may be going to another business maybe. I'm not 100% sure. I may build a water wheel. I don't know yet, but it's kind of just a channel that's just this water's just going to slowly just head somewhere over there. Of course, I just built like the rough shape, haven't textured it or anything, but we'll get to that later. And this building, again, it's really simple. I don't want to go too crazy. With the height limitations, I'm going to change it up, and in the future, I would like to build a little bit more themed towards like in a cave, in a cavern, you know, I'm going to bring in the bricks and the like a coal mine of some sort. I don't know. Something like that. Sort of like a mining operation at the next few ones. But this one, this building right here, I really wanted it to be really woody. And it's a, a really simple because I didn't want to be too... I didn't want it to be too flashy. And yeah, I mean, it's just... It literally, all it's selling right now is just dirt. So we got dirt, grass, one stack, one diamond for two stacks, dirt... One diamond for two stacks. And then, yes, I left the extra spot because now there's not a weird odd, you know. There's not one extra thing. So, if that will sell, I don't know. But we're about to find out, you know. That's kind of why I built it right in the beginning of this episode because I kind of, we have a while now. We're going to see by the end of the episode, have we sold anything? And if we haven't, I may take all that stuff out of there and put something else in there. But I kind of would like to bring more of all of this more buildings along the side i'm pretty happy with how the terraforming looks can't see it right here i'm pretty happy with how all that underneath looks it wasn't that difficult to do and i think that it came out pretty good it really just blends into the rock and again, I just wanted it to, the area that I wanted to pop out was this colorful area right here. I'm mean, definitely going to add more flowers. And I think that from this build, I'm going to take a few things for the future. First off, I want to build with more curves and more organic because this is really boxy. You know, I have a lot of boxes here. I've got this one, that one, this one, and then one on the right side too. So it's not terrible, but it's still pretty boxy. I kind of want to build with some more curves. The roofs, I want to work on my roofs. So I'm just taking notes for myself because, you know, we're just doing all we're playing along with each other, you know. So I'm every single build I'm going to build. I want to take notes down for myself and see what can I do better. Now, I think that the terraforming is actually pretty good. I think it's well balanced. Right, I could bring that bottom area out a little more, how I have it lining up. But other than that, I think that it is pretty well. But the actual building itself, it's not terrible. But I just, I don't know if it really, it's not really going to bring in the people. Because it's just, I don't think it's built well enough. So we're going to take a stop over here, because apparently I'm out of rockets. So, I don't want to go back down there. But from back here, you can see it. And that's what we want to look. So, it's very easily defined that, boom, there's something there. The green grass really helps. I wanted to maybe add some moss kind of running veins down it. Very interesting. I don't know. There's so many different things that I would like to add, would like to see different. But I think that that is a good start. Here we are, guys, back in the shopping district. We're going to head over to our shop and see if we have any sales. So let's head over and check. Here's our shop right here. All right, let's see if we have any sales. All right, nothing in the dirt. But we made three diamonds from the grass. Yes, we have sold something. First time ever. So... I'm just getting a few ideas for what the interior is going to be. So this is just temporary for these um, areas. Now the prices, I'm not 100% set on. I may change it to one diamond for three stacks, not one diamond for two stacks. But we'll give it a little bit more time and see if we sell some more things. And then we'll make up our decision. So here's a little problem that we have. We have this nether portal right here, which is our nether portal. And it's boring. It's just like everyone else's. So we're going to fix that up real quickly. I have some ideas. I kind of want to put it in like a uh, in like a little cave, sort of. And it may change when we actually, you know, build a nether roof system. 
but for right now, we're just going to have it be just a little cavern that we have, just a little cave area, just to get us into the theme of where this portal takes us. So, I'm just going to finish building this up and decorating a little bit around, and then I will show you what I come up with. And right now, this is just a very, <laughs> just the idea, so we'll definitely, we'll definitely make it look nice. So, I will see you guys in a moment. So here is the finished product. Okay, it looks a little strange because I forgot that the reason no one else has built here is because if you have a solid block that's not slabbed off or with carpet on it, um, well, things are going to spawn on it. So I had to carpet everything. But I'm going to try to just fix this. I did just see how it looked from back there, and I was not very happy with it. Oh, that'll cause a mob spawn. Oh, I'm going to have to do... See, I kind of have to do things like this to prevent mobs from spawning. It looks pretty cool. I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. It's kind of just, you know, you walk in here, it's a cavern. So I put this little area to dip down so that a ghast can't spawn in here. I don't know if this was a big enough area for a ghast, so just to be safe, I put a little dip down so that nothing spawns. And this is this is all that we did. It's just it's really simple. It'll probably get removed when we actually have more come like when we actually connect all of our portals up with tunnels and stuff. Or something like that. Just decorative. Something decorative. Because right now, this is just boring. It's so boring. It's gonna we need to decorate it. You know, that's all we do in Minecraft, right? Just decorations. But for now, I'm gonna head back to the overworld. So what we did next is we went into the nether, and we actually, we went to, to go find a fortress. Um, someone was very kind and actually told us where a fortress was, because I was not finding one. I was having a tough time, so I had to ask. But um, we got to a fortress, and then we um, just started killing withers. The first two weren't that hard to get, but this last one took way too long. But thank goodness, we've got it now. And that was a fun adventure in the nether, and let's go get ourselves a beacon. Well, here we are, everybody, in the end. So, we are about to spawn in our wither and have him kill himself under the portal. Um, I put this little platform down just to help to make sure that he's in the right spot. And we're just going to put it in. So, I believe that he's in the right spot. I'm not going to build a whole system to really hold him in. Because I don't think he should move. So I guess we're about to find out. Okay, it's gonna work. Okay, so he's gonna kill himself really quickly, and then we're gonna get our beacon. I will see you back in the overworld. So here we are, guys. We have our nether star. Let's craft ourselves a beacon. And there we go. First beacon of the series in episode two. Very quick, I know, right? And what can are we gonna do with it? Are we gonna go put it underground and just start mining like crazy? No, we have something else we need to do. So I have the beacon, but I really have no blocks to power it. I have 18 diamond blocks, and I'm probably not going to use that. Um, and here, I don't even have a stack of blocks of iron or gold. And I can't really power it. I have no emeralds. So there's a few things that we can do. So the first thing that we can do is that we can go in and hit underground and just start mining like it why and going through a bunch of caves and mining all the iron that we can find iron and gold or we can set up a villager trading hall and try to get a bunch of emeralds i'm not 100 percent sure which one i'm gonna do but you're gonna have to stay tuned till next episode to find out so with that thank you so much for watching the video please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel because if you don't you may get ghosted